Convex is doing something really interesting in the web dev space. I will make videos about all of the interesting things that we're doing, but today I wanted to talk about this interesting thing, the fact that Convex open sourced Convex. Allow myself to introduce myself. And I wanna see if I can get it going on my local machine because that is fun. So I'm gonna show you the two different ways that we can get it running. Uh, one the fast way and one the fun way. So the fast way, is to go ahead and go to the Convex GitHub and download the pre-compiled binary. So if we want to do that, we'll copy this link. Let's get the, ooh, okay. So now we're going to unzip it. Now we have Convex. Now we have the Convex local backend binary. Um, and we're gonna, let's move that to our bin so that we can call it from our path. To user. Okay, and then we can run convex local backend. And here we have it. You can see actually, we have our convex server is running on uh, localhost uh, port 3210. But I think building it yourself is a little bit more fun. It also encourages you to go and explore the code. Convex is built mostly in Rust with a good amount of TypeScript to help ensure end-to-end -end safety from your database all the way to your front-end client. I like to build things from source because I find it encourages me to go into the code and change things and see if it still builds. <laughs> Just explore how a system like this is built. So let's see if we can get this building on our local machine. The first thing that we need is our Rust compiler. I will leave a link to how to install that. Um, the most important things that we need here are the Rust toolchain, uh, which includes Cargo, which is a um, package manager. It also runs script. Uh, it's very similar to NPN. Um, and Rust C, um, which is the Rust compiler. But more often than not, you'll end up just using Cargo to do all of the things. So we have Rust installed. Um, we also need Just. And we can use Cargo to install Just, which is a command runner. You can also use Brew if you're on Mac. Now, if we run Just, it says that there's no Just file found. So now is a good time to just go ahead and pull in the repo. So let's do that. Okay, and if we go into it, and now just is showing us the commands that are defined in the just file from the repo. So this is progress. We also wanna make sure that we're using the correct version of node. Um, so right now we're on 2171 and we can find out what version of node this repo prefers uh, and that's 18 0.17.0. So let's use Node Version Manager, which by the way, I highly recommend using it for everything. It allows you to switch between versions of Node really easily, very quickly, and prevents you from having to Google confusing errors only to find out that it was a wrong version of Node all along. Okay, so let's install what we need here. Excellent, so now we are using 18.17, uh, we can verify that. Wonderful, that's what we need. Um, at this point, we use another tool called Rush, which helps compile and package up 
all of the TypeScript dependencies that the convex backend relies on. So this is gonna run, it's gonna run, it's gonna run. Not bad. And the next step is to install the JavaScript dependencies. And so we'll do that using just rush, just rush, rust, just rush, rust, node. Okay, the JavaScript dependencies are now all installed. And at this point, we can compile convex. This command will run um, cargo run local backend. You can check out exactly what command it runs in the just file, but the point is it runs cargo run, which will compile convex, it will compile all of, all of the Rust code and then run it. Um, and so what's going to happen now, assuming all of my dependencies are in place, and I believe they are, it's going to start compiling convex. And when that's done, it will run the server. So this part can take a little bit of time. Go uh, grab a coffee or do the Peloton workout that you've been putting off. Um, what are other things that we could, oh, we could play the guitar. Today was gonna be the day, but we're gonna throw it back to you. Aha, okay. It is compiled and it is running on localhost uh, port 3210. Fantastic. So at this point, the convex backend is running. We need to run uh, a convex client locally whose job it is to compile your functions and communicate with the backend, in this case, which is running on your computer. So let's do that. I think we can go. We can go, whoop, okay, here we can go. And we can run the demo app with all of our usual suspects, NPM, nothing new here. Uh, convex dev. Okay, so this is the convex client that is running locally, whose job it is to compile your your functions, your queries, mutations, and actions into the API that your client can use. Oh. And now we can run the front end. Dev. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so we can see that Convex is running entirely locally here, which is which is very cool. So it's running the convex database in the back end. It's running the client that compiles your functions. And then it is running the front end client app. Um, and you can see here. So when I write a message on this client, I can say, hello, I'm client 9906. What this does is write a transaction to the convex database and all of the other clients are automatically subscribed to this database and they all update in real time. I didn't have to build anything in the back end to make this work. I literally just built one front end client and they react for free through Convex to changes in the database. And so the state of your data in the database can be reflected in real time to any of the clients that are subscribed to that particular set of data. So I can also say, hello, 9906, I'm uh, 9206. Okay. You can imagine each one of these clients being anywhere in the world and each of them getting their messages in, in real time for free. You didn't have to wire anything. All you had to do was create your front end app and the rest of it was done for you. So it's pretty cool. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to reach out. I'm available on Twitter, email, our Discord. 
all the places. I'm easy to get a hold of. All right, till next time.